So hello everyone. Uh, my name is Vlad. I'm the founder of uh, Zen CV. In the future, we're going to rebrand into Zen Hire. So what we did so far, we were building a platform for building CVs by professional HRs and professional designers. Um, the business was going pretty solid, but we understood that it's not really, really scalable. So we are kind of migrating more towards something digital, something more innovative, also exploiting the fact that the society is transforming due to COVID and uh, the recent breakthroughs in artificial intelligence are allowing lots of new things. So what we plan to do, we plan to build an AI recruiter. Um, we have a solid team, uh, IT people, HR people, psychologists people, marketing people, and so on. Sorry for the long slide, uh, to make the long story short, Companies have really inefficient methods for hiring top talent. They use 20 year old ATS technology or psychometric tests that last for two hours. So it's a terrible UX for applicants. And also the HR department is overloaded with work. Basically they have to do everything manually, which is kind of stupid given that with 2021 and uh, AI is, has really evolved. And most of the things that the HRs do in the first round are repetitive. They ask the same questions. So, because of the ATS that eliminates 95% of the candidates, only 5% of candidates are actually interviewed. And the talent is mostly lost from this 95%, which means that suboptimal people are being hired, which means that people are not really aligned with the mission and vision of the company, which means that they leave the company after two or three years, which means that, uh, for example, in USA, the average cost for substituting a hire is $15,000 so this is actually a $2 trillion market only in the USA, not counting in the HR costs. So even if we would count in the man hour costs from the HRs, uh, the market would be even bigger. And basically today we have this uh, rapid digitalization of society due to COVID. So most of the interviews are happening online and uh, recent breakthroughs in AI, specifically natural language processing and synthetic characters. So AI characters that look like humans, speak like humans. Um, this already exists. So the timing uh, because of COVID and AI is perfect for implementing a solution like this. Uh, so basically our solution, how it will work, work uh, it will be a real time human-like video-based conversational AI bot. So it will talk to you, can ask some questions, it can analyze your CV, it also does a psychological test. We're making a, a partnership for these psychological tests. And based on your psychological uh, profile and your CV, he can ask some personalized questions and also some templated questions that the company might need for that specific job and that specific context. So um, the output will be a multidimensional assessment. So the, the, we're also making a partnership with the uh, company for synthetic characters. Um, their name is our one.ai. So we're going to use their bot in the front end. But the problem is that their bot is, uh, has zero IQ. So it, it can't really have an intelligent conversation. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to feed the bot with enough data and with the right algorithms so that the bot becomes intelligent. So in the future, so um, in the beginning, how it will work, we'll make an interface through which an HR will interview a candidate. And as the candidate is being interviewed, the HR can evaluate the candidate in different dimensions. And that data is then being fed back to the algorithm. So after each conversation, the algorithm is actually learning to imitate the process that the human is doing while interviewing. So after around 50,000 hours of video, the algorithm will have enough data to correctly and without many mistakes, spot patterns and then repeat the, the process. Um, so in the first stage, we're going to have humans doing the interviews. The AI will be learning. In the second stage, the AI will take over and do the interviewing on its own. So this is, this is basically the idea. Um, this obviously carries a lot of benefits to, to companies, like a quicker hiring cycle, uh, HR cost savings, uh, better talent acquisition, top talent filtration, right? We're going to have a system, so you're going to be able to tell the system, hey, give me top 5% of candidates that know Excel the best or that have the best soft skills or whatever. 
um, and uh, so on. So we, we are not, um, we don't wanna try to sell you this uh, idea right now. This is not the point. The point is our strategy will be, uh, we're building the MVP, so the, the trial product right now. And uh, we would like to find people and uh, companies, usually startups and early adopters that will start using our software. We'll start using, it's gonna be kind of like Zoom. So kind of like the interface we're talking through right now. With an addition that you have like certain buttons to evaluate the candidate in real time. And then after the conversation, a PDF report will be generated. It will be a personalized report that you can later as a company send to the, um, to the person that's being interviewed and say, hey, you didn't pass to the next round because X, Y, and Z. So the, the report is going to be generated in an automatic way, but it will also allow for the HR to in, insert uh, human typed feedback. And in that way, we hope that the brand uh, reputation of the, the company that's hiring will be better since almost no one is providing feedback nowadays. That's, uh, that's some idea. Um, my question to you would be, how does how does some software like this uh, sound? Would you be open to experiment with it? Um, would you be open to use this kind of software um, with your HRs for, for hiring? Would it fit your current systems? Would it fit your current hiring processes? What are your current hiring processes? And stuff like that. So um, th those would be my questions.